Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an exciting video all about the Brother Skitch embroidery machine that you will see next to me here. I'm so excited because I am new to embroidery machines but I've always really, really wanted one so that I can elevate my crafting, my sewing and create really, really beautiful embroidery projects. So in this video I'm going to be showing you a little bit more about the Brother Skitch what it involves and then we're going to do an upcycling project in this video. I thought it would be nice to just get stuck in and show you guys how I'm going to upcycle a pair of denim jeans as this is like a great project that I feel a lot of people will be able to relate to especially if you enjoy thrifting and upcycling and turning something old into something new, then I think this is going to be a game changer for you. So before I get started with the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the thumbs up because it helps my, to get my video reached and noticed. And yeah, let's get started. The Brother Skitch is designed to work in hand with their app called Artspira, which is where you can design, digitise and create beautiful embroidery projects. There's hundreds of options for you to be able to customise designs that are already on there, upload your own designs so that you can really make stuff to suit your personal style. That's what I absolutely love about it. Now that I have set it all up and had a little practice, my head has clicked and I feel like I understand what to do now. So hopefully I can come to this video for you guys. If you are thinking about getting the Brother Skitch or you've just purchased it and you don't know what to do, then hopefully my video can help you a little bit to just understand kind of the fundamentals if you like. So I have already done a little test run here. I just used some black embroidery thread and it was so much fun being able to set up my design and the machine do all the work for me. It was really, really cool. So yeah, we've got my embroidery frame and I'm going to cut now to a little bit of footage of me unboxing the skitch so that I can show you a little bit more about it and what it all involves and all of that kind of stuff. Here's a quick look at the contents of the box. There's a starter kit which I'll go through in a little bit more detail and the machine was actually kind of compactly in the box and it was a lot smaller than I thought and there's all the tape on it that you have to remove. Here is the beautiful machine. It's a lot more compact than I thought it was going to be. I cleared this entire shelf because <laughs> I was worried it was going to be bigger but no, it's perfect and this is the front of the machine. So let's have a look inside the contents of this starter kit together and we can talk through in a bit more detail on what's included and also downloading their Artspira Plus app. It's super easy to download it onto your mobile device. You can use that QR code as well if you wanted to, but yeah, let's have a look what's inside the starter kit. This is cool. Shows you all the accessories that we have. So got this little packet, it comes with a thing of black thread so obviously you can test out and try the machine straight away which is really, really cool. I am going to use some brother threads that I'm getting those. Also got some scissors, some needles and some other bits and bobs. So that's pretty cool. Obviously got our plug, I think mine's a UK one. And then I also have the embroidery frame. I'm so, honestly, I'm so excited to give this a go and try it out and it's going to be so awesome. And then some embroidery. I think it's a stabiliser. So I've got my jeans here and the first thing I had to do was unpick the side seam to access where the stain is. And this is so that I can put my frame comfortably in the side like that. So when I'm sewing, what I can do is make sure that the design has flipped so that it's the right way up and then that way yeah it fits in nicely and I don't have to worry about this bit that connects to the machine getting stuck on any fabric or anything like that and we can sew this up later on my sewing machine. So now that we've got that all ready we need to put some stabiliser on the back to make sure that it's nice and secure because they are a stretch denim as well and um, the best thing to do is to put some stabiliser on and make sure that that is all secure, ready to embroider. Can we also just appreciate how beautiful the Brother embroidery threads are? All of these colours look so amazing. Oh my goodness. For choosing the embroidery colour threads, I'm just going to talk you through a little bit about the Artspira app. So I've chosen this design that I really, really like. Um, I'm just going to press OK. 
save and save this as my flower design. So if I go on the home page, I'll show you there's some really, really cool things on this app and so many designs, like hundreds and hundreds of designs. So if I click on embroidery designs and I'm going to look at artist designs. I've been told there's some really cool stuff in here. Oh, wow. So many funky things in there. That's so cool. So this is definitely like my kind of vibe. If you find a design that you like, like this one, for example, we can actually press the little heart button and that will save it into my favourites. I love this. That's something like you'd get an Oliver bonus. <laughs> so cute. Oh my gosh. Sunshine. Again, that's something I'd probably put on a jumper for Willow. So many cool designs. So yeah, I, to be honest, could look through this stuff all day Friday. That is so cute. Okay. But for this design that I'm doing, I thought process is that I want to do it like the Dams and Madder jeans so I'll pop a picture of what they look like on the screen and so I want to do those um those jeans and yeah so in terms of threads I was thinking greens and blues and kind of keep them fairly neutral for the jeans so we got 017 001 007 420 and then 530 Four. I'm happy with those colours, I think they look nice and I think it will just look really cute on there. Once I've got my design where I want it, I now also need to make sure that it's flipped to the right side. So this is how it looks with that on the basis that it's like that way up and I need to flip it that way so that the design sits where I need it to be. So if I just flip that around, and it's gonna be about that big, the fact that I have, you know, this whole space to work with. So if I do it like there, that's pretty good. I'm gonna press done, save. Whilst that's saving, this is the backing material for the embroidery that I need to iron on. It works similar to a fusible interfacing, but obviously using Brother Branded just is going to give me the best results so let's cut this to size i'm just going to turn my jean leg inside out for a second i've got my mini press iron here so that i can press on where i want my embroidery backing so it needs to be about here now we can just press this in place now that the fabric has got the stabilizer on the back i'm just going to slip this side in to the jeans this might take a few goes to get right. Pretty happy with that placement. Again, like I said, I, I, you know, I wish I could make the design a little bit bigger, but we're not going to be able to. So what I could do is just do this one and then I can always add to it as well if I needed to. Now that's all set up, let's head over to the brother sketch and get that all ready to go. Okay, so I have my embroidery threads, I have some scissors, I have my jeans here. And then let's get the design up on here as well. So I'm popping this in the carriage. To sort of slide it in the in the grooves, there you go. And then it clips in place. So that's all done. Fabulous. Right, let's press that one. Okay, so it's now transferring the design to the sketch. Prepare the bobbin thread. The bobbin is already in the machine. It gives you like a little supportive video as well if you're not sure on how to do that. Check the embroidery area, do a trial run. There you go. So we need to set up the green thread first. It gives me a list on here of like what is to come. So I can see what colours I need to put into the machine first. So we're going to load up the green. One, one, two, all the way down, back up to four, down to five, um, down into six. That's a little groove. You push this down. Perfect, and that's threaded the needle. Um, so I think we're all good to go. So I'm just gonna press play. Just pause that a second. And I can just trim off this little bit of thread. So it's out of the way, and then press play. Cool.
next leg and before I move on to the section of embroidery that I'm doing I wanted to make sure that not only had I flipped the image so that it was a mirror image to the other side but that I also lined up perfectly to where I want it so I popped some grid lines using a, in, um, a removable pen like a heat removable pen onto my fabric and then there's a really smart feature called the camera feature. So when you are setting up your design and the layout of your design in the Artspira app, you can use the function where you scan your embroidery frame. And what happens is you get an exact picture of what your fabric looks like. And because I'd added those little guidelines with a removable pen, I was able to place the design exactly where I wanted it. So you can see a little cut out there of what that looks like. So I thought before I press play or before I press the go button, I thought I'd share that with you because it's a really handy feature for complete accuracy. If you want to obviously put something in a really specific spot or perhaps you're doing what I'm doing, which is, you know, two legs of a pair of jeans and you want it to like match up as much as possible. So that's a really handy feature. So now I can press the go button and it will start doing its thing. Another little tip, before it starts going really speedy, press pause. And then if you're wondering what to do with this little tail of thread, you can just cut that away so it's out of the way and it's not getting stuck in any of your kind of sewing. So now we can press play again and it will continue to do what it needs to do. So yeah. Here's a closer look at the finished upcycled jeans. I didn't quite cover the stain that I had on my jeans, but I think they look super cute and I love how they turned out and what a gorgeous detail to add to your garments or your upcycling projects. So that is it you guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed seeing the brother sketch in action. I will be showing you more videos about the brother sketch later in the year so make sure to stay tuned for that and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss an upload. And I'll leave a link in the description below where you can go find out more about the brother sketch as well as how to download Artspira and anything else that's needed will be in the description box below for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye!